number two and it is a day at sea. You may notice Matt is not with me yet today. That is because I got up early to participate in something you have not seen on this channel yet, which is exercise. <laughs> so let's get started today with a new adventure for both of us. Day number two, let's go. And you may be thinking, Chelsea, you never do fitness things on any of the cruise ship. Why are you doing them today? Well, the reason is, is one, the fitness areas are kind of a big deal on Virgin and they have fitness classes included completely free and they have really fun and cool ones, including the one I'm about to do, that I'm probably most excited about on the sailing. I'm here at the B complex for an upswing bungee class. Yes, you heard me right, bungee class. So this is gonna be something totally different and really fun. All right, I found the correct room. This is definitely the bungee room because you can see, look, there's bungee straps on the ceiling. They're gonna hang bungees from here. And oh, look at the pretty view. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay, before I leave this area, I wanted to show you this because it's kind of confusing. I'm on, on deck 15 at the B complex and you'll see it's split between build and balance and then burn and bike. So if you turn this way towards the right, this is the build and balance side. And then the fitness room where I did the bungee was right in there. They're doing another class in there at this moment. But if I come out this way, and I turn over to this side, this is where the bike and burn is. So these are gonna have different types of classes, like spin classes and hit classes and stuff like that. It's gonna be right in there. So I'll show these areas more during the cruise, but I just wanted to make that clarification because I got lost this morning because the B complex is split into two different areas. I'm back in the room and not only am I reunited with Inky, but also, Ba, 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 ba. It's Matt in the shadows. So just a few things about my upswing bungee class. It was really fun. It was super cool and unique and I've never done anything like that before. So it was, it was a really cool experience. But most importantly, it was completely free. All the fitness classes on board are 100% free. You just have to sign up and book for them. Um, so how you book is that you go into the app, you find the class and the time that you want to do, and you sign up and you just hit book and you're good to go. Space is very limited. There was only six bungee spots in there, so there can only be six spots per class. And I think there's only four classes the whole cruise, so definitely if that's something you want to do, any fitness class, like sign up when you get on board because the space is definitely fill for sure. And also too, just to give you kind of an idea time wise, they usually have a morning session and an afternoon session for most classes. So for example, the one I just did, the bungee morning one, that was at nine to 9.45. And then if I scroll, Blah, 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 blah. There's another one this afternoon at 3.15 to I think like would end at four. So there's usually a morning and an afternoon one. And the instructor told me that the morning one is usually a bit more mild and then the afternoon one is a bit more advanced. One hot tip he said, do not eat a big breakfast before going. And I can understand why, because you're kind of like top seeing and turving a little bit and that may not result in something good. So maybe just have a piece of toast or wait until after you're done with the workout before you go. But yeah, it was totally a lot of fun. Definitely would try it. Very interesting day at sea today. It's very cloudy, but it's also sunny. It's like a weird, hazy kind of situation. And I wanted to try to show, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but there's been several 
flying fish skittering across the surface. Oh, there goes one. Oh, I missed it. I don't know it. if you can see it. They're so oh, small. I yeah, see, I saw you can one. see where it like ripples the water. I don't think this is probably going to show up too well on camera, but they're out here. Here's a flying fish. There you go. That's basically all it was. We did luck out with our balcony, or excuse me, terrace location. But we got really lucky because we don't have like any lifeboats obstructing our view. We can see straight down in the water. But if you were down further, you totally would be looking down at a lifeboat instead of the water. Yeah, modern cruise ship design puts the lifeboats back in and recesses them. And the balconies are built all the way out to the side of the ship. but. Not the case here with the Scarlet Lady. So yeah, if you had terraces down there, woof, you're just looking at those big ugly boats. We are for perspective. There's the bridge right there. So, you know, we're, we're pretty, pretty forward here. Also, we'll point out, as you look, we can see like right into people's balconies down there. So if you are on deck. That's deck eight right there that we can see into. Be mindful. And also if you have some of the suites up front, those stick out, so. Not a ton of privacy with some of these terraces. We're about to leave to go get lunch, but I wanted to show this very, very cool thing. So this, it kind of looks like a door hanger. It means like, don't come in here. And when you push this one, it means, yes, come in, make up my room, please. We are out of here. So it is blue. We are out of the room. And what are we going to go do? Eat. Eat. Um. Let's go. So all of the eateries are included. No main dining room, no buffet. We're going to go to the galley, which is like the replacement for the buffet. You get seated, they still serve you, but they have all these different stations, like taco stand, noodles, sushi, burgers, things like that. And you order from whatever you want, and they bring it to you, included. Now, other things are included with Virgin Voyages as well. Basic bevies water, tea, lemonade kind of stuff, soda even. Soda, that's a big one that's usually not included on cruise lines. Basically, anything that's not a specialty coffee or like a fresh squeezed juice or alcohol. What else is included with Virgin? Tips, gratuities, all included, all around. Yes. Don't have to worry about that. And okay. basic Wi-Fi is included, which has actually been very nice. Yeah, totally good for like Instagram, email, websites. Probably not for streaming. Yes, yeah, streaming is the one thing it says it will not accommodate. So if you want streaming, you do need to upgrade. Now this is cool. $15 per day uh -huh. if you want the upgraded one with streaming. But they did have a special on the first night of the cruise only where you got a day for free. And one of my favorite things about the galley is that they put a directory in here. So this is where we ate last night and buy the Korean barbecue. But then you see all these other different stations and where we are. So Daily Mix is like fresh stuff, soup and salad. They do have uh, tap that hot beverages, the sweet side, which is like a bakery, a burger bar, tap that cold beverages, tap that beer and wine. They have quick easy, which is the grab and go, which is actually right here behind us. So stuff already made, prepackaged, just grab it and go wherever you please. They have Bento Baby, which is sushi, pop star, popsicles, diner in Dash. That is a 24 hour diner. Oh yeah, because it serves, I, and I think it serves breakfast like all day. All day breakfast. So that's really cool. Yeah, so we showed the social club diner last night. That's different. This is diner in Dash. Let's talk about it. You can guess what that is. Noodle around and hot off the press panini. Yeah, that's where you're headed. This is where I'm going to live. Every day, I Five think. Five days of noodle around. <laughs> we were searching for a table and then we remembered there's an outdoor seating section. I completely forgot. It's right on the back of the ship too. Wait, you! Funnily enough, you walk through that area, it seems like a buffet, because the way it's laid out. But uh -huh. it's not, like we said, it's not a buffet. You actually come and seat yourself at a table, scan for the menu, uh -huh. and you'll actually order, they'll come serve the food to you. So it pulls up like all the, the options for all the different eateries, and then someone will come and take your order, and then they'll bring it to you. So, I mean, it's pretty, it, I, I like it because it's casual, um, but it's not like as crazy as a buffet. Okay, here is the drink station, not too far from where we're sitting. They have cups that you can grab, um, a machine for ice and water, and 
as Matt mentioned, basic fanties are included. So we have Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, ooh, ginger ale, Fanta, Coke Zero. And yeah, you just serve it yourself, grab it, and pour away. It's like a miniature Coke freestyle machine. Yeah. And then they also have orange juice, pineapple juice, apple juice, and iced tea for you to grab as well. Pretty cool. We ordered a couple of different things because we want to try stuff. We only have a limited time. So this is from Noodle Around. This is the Tenkatsu Ramen. And then this is also from Noodle Around. This is the spicy Tenkatsu Ramen. So they look very similar, except there's spice added to that one. It seems to be about the only difference there. <laughs> it looks delicious. Yes, it does. Also, too, apparently in Virgin World, ginger ale equals club soda. Because you tasted it and you're like, this yeah, isn't good. It was awful. So I figured it was just like the machine like wasn't, you know, like mixing right or something. So I went to a different one and yeah. they they all tasted like club soda for the ginger ale. And a classic beef burger with fries. And your salad has arrived. Yeah. Also as well, they ask you before if you have any like allergies or dietary restrictions. Also something else I realized is that there's only certain locations that are serviced if you grab a table mm -hmm. and order. Other things you just go up and get like the popsicle stand or the sweet station and you can also order from the places that we ordered from at the station like if you're getting it to go or something like that. One of the complaints or criticisms maybe with Virgin Voyages, the Scarlet Lady, in the early going has been the size of the pool. S kinda. <laughs> yeah. So this one is like kind of like the relaxed pool, I guess. And I mean this is a sea day, but look how crowded everything is. Both whirlpools are filled, the bar is filled up, and then this pool area is pretty filled too. Let's check the main one next door and let's see. Yikes. And you gotta remember the part in the middle there, that's the deep part. The other parts here on this side, like right to about there and starting there on that side, those are just little shelves. So it's just like a little waiting sit area. It's, it's pretty crowded. I, I, I don't think I'm gonna try to squirm my way into that. No, I thought they might be able to get away with it when we came on preview day, but now seeing it on a day at sea, and I don't even know if we're at even close to full capacity. Yeah, like Whoa. seeing it in action and seeing it actually being used, it's, it's pretty crowded. There are more hot tubs in the back of the ship, the athletic club, but that's it for pools. Quick stop off in the room, but we got a present! Swag! Yay. Stuff we all get. What do you think it is? A shirt? A purse? A hat? No, it's a... It's a bag! Oh. The Sea Blazer program. So that's what they call um, people who like sailed on one of the first official sailings, I guess. It's the Sea Blazers. You get it? Ha ha. How about a sweet treat? Always. And my favorite sweet treat ice cream yeah, well, with flavored oh, cones. Oh, nice. Now, follow up an ice cream dessert with an ice cream themed game show. Scoop, there it is. No, you gotta do it like the commercial. Scoop, there it is. Well, what else is in the commercial? Sprinkles. <laughs> I think the concept is is like you you participate in like a game show like about ice cream, and then if you win, you get to pick what the ice cream of the day is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Savor it, think about it. Mm -hmm. All right, so what flavor do you think that is? Uh, 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 vanilla. Vanilla would be correct. Yeah, stand in the house. Let's hear it. Okay. Yeah, oh, he's down for it. Yeah, you'd be there for a center. Uh, but let's see. Ooh. Okay back in the room for a brief moment because we refresh to get ready for the rest of our evening. But while it's on my mind, I wanted to mention, we are 
traveling with my dad and got a call from my dad, because of course you can call people with your stateroom phone and stuff and call other staterooms, but the we got the call because we weren't in the room yet. We got the call via app. Like it was, we, I was sitting on a lounger chair with the phone in my hand and got the call through the Virgin app. But he called the stateroom phone, but I guess it went through the stateroom phone and also the Virgin app. So if, if you have a room connected to that app, you're gonna get calls to that too. That's pretty sick, I gotta say. That, that's a that's a cool feature. Now, we are out of here because it is Big Show Night. Big Show Night, we're going to a show. All right, Charles mentioned it's showtime. We're heading into the Red Room. This is the multi-use flex theater on board. Time? Oh, wait a minute, it's the Red Room. Did you bring something red? Uh, yes. On my lanyard, the YouTube symbol. Okay, you may enter, but watch yourself. All right. <laughs> Ooh, something spectacular. What could it be? I love this floor, I love this floor, I love this floor. And welcome inside the red room, which is actually split. That side is blue, and this side is red. Because tonight's show is dual reality. It's a twist on Romeo and Juliet, featuring aerial acrobatics. So we're on the red side, and that's the blue side. It'll be a competition shortly. And we came early, front row seats. Oh, let me show you to your seat. It's right here. And show how it like pops up. You fall down, like that just pops up Ooh, like that. Very nice. Fancy. Very fancy. I'm so, so excited about these seats. They are great seats because, I mean, this is it. Like, it's like courtside at the Knicks game, like at the garden. Okay, maybe not that great. But I mean, this is where all the action is going to be taking place. <laughs>
dinner in nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much I like the show. I have to agree with you, actually, even though I was not circusing around. But that, like, show was so good. Like, they infused their energy into me. But no, seriously, like, my, my mind is blown. It's mind blowing. It was so, so good. I wore myself out. You talk now. So about five minutes into it, I was preparing to say that that was the best show I'd ever seen on a cruise ship. Yeah. And I honestly think it was the best show I've ever seen cruise ship, theme park, Broadway, Vegas. If it wasn't the best, it was the most impressive. The strength, the the talent that those performers had, like like the bravery of it, like they, they did not have any safety nets. None. None, no harnesses, like just them. Nothing. And the floor. Their and, muscles. And like lots and lots <laughs> of feet in between. It, it was so good, like it, like, Oh my gosh, do not come on this ship and not see the show. That's priority number one. It was amazing. I, oh. <laughs> the show was amazing. This tunnel is amazing. And we head inside, you see the sign up ahead. Pink Agave, Elevated Mexican. That's where we're dining tonight. <laughs> Look at the menu for tonight. All right, here's our es esquites, I believe it was, which is like basically Mexican street corn in a bowl, and it looks and smells really good. And then this is the chicken enchilada. So that also looks very good. And they gave us like a little uh, nut bowl thing. Which is interesting. It's actually like really good. <laughs> One final, was this a small or a medium? This is a medium. A medium. So it's the potatoes. Yeah. The chorizo. We both get the same large plate. Yeah, it's um, a ribeye. Smothered with cheese and sauce and looks like some peppers on top there. And of course, the last course is dessert. Chocolate tacos with a cherry sauce that you can drizzle. Is this not the cutest little thing you've ever seen? It's the Odyssey dance party. They're playing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s up here on the pool deck. Chels fell asleep. So we started today's video with just her because I was asleep and now we're ending it with just me because she is asleep. So a nice little bookend to the day. We thoroughly enjoyed our meal at Pink Agave. The food was excellent and the service was even better. Shout out to Victor, he was fantastic. Tomorrow, we're in Costa Maya, Mexico and we do plan to get off to the ship for a little bit. As always, we are travel agents, so feel free to reach out via that travel agent information you can find in the description of this video. If you're interested in coming on Virgin Voyages yourself, we are first mates, Virgin Voyages travel advisors, so we can help make that happen. Reach out via that travel information, travel agent information in the description of this video. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us today. We'll see you back tomorrow, day number three on board Scarlet Lady. But until then, happy travels.